So I finally got some new pajamas after a while, and they're pretty comfy. But as I was wearing them, I took a second to think, have I ever drawn any of my OCs in pajamas? And then I realized, no I haven't. So, as a result, I wanted to draw my OC Nikki in pajamas and see how he would look like. Finally, after some sketching and lining, I came up with this right here. When I was drawing the poses, I really wanted to make sure that it felt like pajama poses, which I know sounds totally weird, but you know when you're in your pajamas and you're super comfy and you feel like you can lay down and just relax in them? That's what I was kind of going for with these drawings. Now, when I was drawing both of them, the one on the bottom right didn't give me too much trouble. I actually was having fun with that one because I could envision it right because there wasn't a lot of perspective. However, the one on the top left took me forever to sketch out. I'm talking like, I think two hours to sketch out because my perspective isn't very good. And it kept going back and forth and he had so many different, oh man, it was just so many problems with the pose that I was like, you know what? At, at some point I'm just gonna have to stop because if I keep working on it, I'm gonna end up not liking it. So at one point I was like, you know what? I'm happy with the fact that he's gripping the pillow and it looks like he's laying down on his stomach and his cheeks look dummy thick. So, <laughs> so I was like, all right, we'll just go with that. Speaking of his uh, dummy thick cheeks, I actually had the issue where I was making them <laughs> too big. And they're still massive, <laughs> but like they're less massive now than they were before. Like I'm telling you, the the butt cheeks were really big, so I had to be like, hold on, there's something like anatomically <laughs> incorrect about his butt. So I had to rework it a lot. And I think I like the way it came out, even though it's still way too big, but I, I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> like, I really don't. What I wanted to make sure for this page and like for every other page that I'm going to be drawing in this book is that I don't leave any empty space in the page, which means like just white space that could be filled up somehow, some way. So that's exactly what I did is I filled it up with two stuffed animals and I based these stuffed animals off of the ones that I have on my bed. So I do have a unicorn round fat plushie, which is very lovely. <laughs> and the other plushie I have is actually a llama, but it's in that shape of, uh, of that kind of bear that I drew. So I wanted to make sure that it was really giving the he's in his room or bed vibe going on. So as I was drawing up the sketch for this, I was thinking to myself, what kind of pajamas would Nikki want to wear? Because, like I said before, I've never actually drawn any pajamas on any of my characters. So I had to factor in, like, what his personality is and what kind of clothing he'd want to wear to bed. Obviously, you'd want something super comfortable so you're not, like, wearing something in the middle of the night that you're like, I hate this and I want to change. So I figured something very soft and f not fuzzy, but so much as just, like, cotton so you don't feel uncomfortable and it can breathe in the middle of the night with you. As for the design on them, he likes cute things. Like, he likes them a lot. So it would only make sense that his pajamas would have something like pig, pig, wow, pink bunnies on them. Although, cute little piggies wouldn't be bad either, now that I think about it. But, I'm gonna go with the bunnies for now, because I really like the pink bunny look on the white pants. I feel like it just stands out a little bit more. I was thinking originally of uh, doing like dark gray or black pants with the pink bunnies, but for some reason the uh, the white pants just looks so much cleaner. Like there's just something about it that I really liked when I was doing it. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna color them in black. I'm just gonna leave it as white pants and shade around it to make it look like it is white pants and not just like some weird kind of fabric. The top that he's wearing is just a plain tank top. I thought that like he would like something simple on top to help complement the pants because he likes matching up his clothing. So it would make sense to me that he would pick a white tank top to match the white pants. And then you have the accessory of the pink pillow and then the stuffed animals also have the same color scheme. So everything is kind of cohesive in the piece. 
I also really ended up liking how his face looks in both poses. I feel like they're not faces I usually do, which um, one is kind of more shine reserved and into his like knee so he's covering up his face. And the other one is like the exact opposite where it's like look at me or come towards me where it's nice to see that dynamic in the page. Because I never ever do that. Number one, I normally never do two characters on the page because I'm really bad with like um, sizing my drawings on one page. So I'm already like, okay, I did two characters on one page and I managed to make them dynamic enough. It's the same character, by the way. I'm just really bad with drawing the same character more than once. It's both of them are Nikki. Anyway, uh, yeah, I really like how there's a dynamic between both faces and it looks like like he's kind of got the per not a personality switch but like the ability to be cute and at the same time sultry i definitely like the idea of drawing my characters in pajamas um the only problem is, is i don't draw my own characters enough half the time because i'm constantly making new ones um because there's a difference between regular ocs or original characters that you just kind of draw once in a while and then you're like forever ocs which is your forever original character that you use all the time and Nikki just so happens to be my forever original character where he's a character I can reuse in different universes or draw as many times as I want and I'd never get bored of him because he's just that character for me I think a lot of people have a forever OC but I don't know how many people actually talk about them like I have several other forever OCs as well which are in the same universe as a Nikki that I originally created, but I don't always draw them, which is a bad habit. I should totally start doing that because I really need to step out my comfort zone and explore those character designs as well as his. So maybe one day I'll sit down and I'll draw those other characters pajamas as well, because I think that would be fun to do. I also want to say that for the coloring, I realized how limited I kept my color palette and I kind of like that idea that I should keep um, the markers down to a select few sometimes for some drawings just so this way it's a standout color or there's a reason why there's a standout color in the piece. However, sometimes I just like using a lot of different colors in one piece because it's nice. It gives it some kind of dynamic. So I think a lot of the time when um, you're picking colors or me when I'm picking colors, really, I can't speak for other people that sometimes it just depends on the scenario that you're drawing sometimes you need a lot of colors to help push that idea through or you don't need many colors to push any idea through at the end of the drawing i decided to use some washi stickers so this way it helps give the drawing a little bit more to it even though there's a lot going on already i kind of wanted even more because there was still some white space and i was like what can i do with these pink stickers that i have from this like little washi book set and so I picked two that fit the scenario, which is both of them have some kind of like animal or like stuffed animal in it to help push it further. And then for the spaces that I couldn't fit any more stickers in, I also added some more little bunnies, which I thought was a good idea because sometimes we just need to fill up the space in the page to make it feel whole. And I've been doing that more often than not. So yeah, overall, this is the finished piece, and I really, really like how it came out. I love it overall, and I really like the dynamic of it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching, and remember, I love you. Bye.